everyone, my name is Marie Chang, and today I will be drawing myself into Over the Garden Wall. I already did a character design of myself in the art style of the show, and I chose this still to draw myself into because I think it's just so beautiful. So I'm going to start by doing a grid right over where I think the perspective would be, just to make sure I have a good idea of where my characters need to be planted. And once I have that down, I'm just going to slowly rough out the shape of my characters. So I'm starting out with my corgi. I thought it would be really cute and also super accurate to have the corgi trying to eat a pumpkin in this scene. And so I kind of did a rough sketch of that. And then I'm going to start blocking in where I will go. I tried to compose it so that it wasn't interrupting what was already there. And instead, I exist with the existing characters. I definitely want to make sure that I'm not ruining the scene and I want to make sure that I'm adding to it. You're probably thinking right now that these drawings are super, super rough and I always start really loose and really rough just because you don't want to do a clean line right away, especially since you might be married to that line, even if it's not right. Right now, I decapitated myself, but I'm using reference from that character design to make sure my proportions are correct. I They were a little bit off, so I fixed them and hopefully they're a little closer now. It's a little tricky with this perspective because we're technically looking down on myself and the corgi, but I want to make sure that the proportions are still there. As I go through it, I like to compare where I'm at to the environment itself, so sometimes I'll change the opacity of the background. Now that I'm more comfortable with what I've roughed in, I'm going back through and I'm doing a loose clean line. So it's not quite tight enough to be the final line, but it's a little clearer, it's not as messy. I loved giving this corgi a big fluffy butt, the best part of a corgi, and also adding some detail to the pumpkin and the pumpkin seed spilling out. I'm now going through and making sure that the face proportions on my character look accurate. It's a little tricky because this is again a unique angle and a unique perspective, but I'm trying to make sure that it's true to my design and also true to the show's style. Once I'm done with this second pass, I have a chance to kind of see how things look without the layer underneath. So right now I'm just trying to make sure that the design is consistent and that I think it looks appealing. All the eyes are looking in the right place. I really love that the animals in Over the Garden Wall can have that kind of like dead-eyed stare right towards the camera. So of course I'm gonna do that for the corgi. <laughs> Now I'm ready to turn off the layer underneath, again, just to get a cleaner view of where we're at, and this looks pretty good. There's still some adjustments I need to make. Ugh, that neck sometimes really throws me off, and some of the perspective needs to be adjusted, but a good way to see where things look off is to invert your image, as I just did, and when you see things from that inverted perspective, you'll notice certain things are off, so I made some really minor changes and then flipped it back. And now I am finally doing the final line art on these designs.
Now, once this final line art is done, I can take a final look at it, see if there's any changes to make, and then I'm going to start doing the color. In order to match the lighting of this still, a quick way that I like to do this is just to color pick the color of any whites in this scene. So in this instance, I referenced the eyes and then also any of their clothing that was white. And I got that kind of off-white yellow color. So I colored in the entire design with that pigment knowing that I'll be able to layer that on top and get a consistent look. Now this part is way easier. Instead of trying to pick the version of the color from my design that fits into the lighting of the scene, I can just literally do the same exact colors that I used for my character design and then later I'll multiply that shade over it and it'll kind of match the scene a lot better. So now we have all the flat color down, we just need to make sure that their shadows match. And as I just did, I took that yellow that we had done previously and then just did a multiply over it. You can just adjust the uh, opacity of that multiply layer as much as you need uh, to match, but this looks pretty good to me. And then I did a shadow right over that Corgi's little butt to make sure that it matched the scene and a little bit of shadow underneath my character. And this is the final finished product. I'm pretty happy with it. I love corgis. I love Over the Garden Wall. So I think this is in a good place for now. Thanks again for watching. And let me know in the comments what kind of shows you want to see me draw myself into.